Last time you might recall with Ms. Northey, you were solving equations. What's an equation? Again, can someone hand up, give me a, a description of what an equation is? Yeah, Aiden. Now, let's just pause there for a second. This, you, might, you may or may not remember, if you haven't, you know, um, I, I would suggest right now. This is not an equation yet. It almost is something else. It starts with an E. Yeah, Kimmy. Um, equations are statements that are true where both sides are equal. Ah, okay. So we're going to get to an equation in a second. But this, what, what Aiden suggested to me, is something else. What is this? This is called an expression. It says something, and it says it with numbers. There isn't any algebra yet, because what I've got here, I know what all these numbers are. Algebra is where we introduce those things called pronumerals. Do you remember those? It's where we label something where there's a number and I don't know what it is. But I, don't, I know what 7 is, I know what 4 is, and I know what 5 is. Uh, order of operations tell me to do the multiplication first. So 7 times 4, of course, is 28. 28, 28 plus 5 is? 33. Okay, so now, now I have an equation. Okay, now what did I add that made it an equation? It was an equal sign. Thank you very much. And this is what Kimmy suggested, right? Where you've got two things, there's a, there are two sides. There are two sides. And they're equal to one another. In fact, the equal sign, if you have a close look at the equal sign, just like the division sign, the equal sign tells you what it is. It's two things that are exactly the same. Just like division is where you've got something that's been separated out and shared to different people. Ta-da! So, the equal sign... Hashtag <laughs> magic. <clears throat> the equal sign, having a mathematical sentence where you say something and something else are exactly equal to each other is what makes it an equation. Right? Same base where that word is coming from. Okay? Now, I said before, these are all numbers, right? So that's what I would call a numerical expression over here, a numerical equation all up. But if I want to introduce some algebra, <laughs> let me get this. Oh, see. Why are you doing are these bosses imposing on things? Oh, there's Joseph coming. There you go. Unfortunately, yes. Okay. There's another one door coming. Sorry. Are they spying on us? Clearly, they heard me. Yeah. So, you seven, let's give him something. We're watching this, shall we? Okay, now, where were we? We said it's an expression, it's an equation, but I know what all these things are, right? So that's why it's numerical. What would make this, what could make this algebraic? What would be algebra? Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, if I have some terms in here which may be like a Y in there, something I don't know. We took this equation, this is our numerical equation, and I added in something that I didn't know. I added in a label for something and I wasn't sure what it was. You kill stretching or question? It's not a question, it's like, um, another word you're watching. Um, okay, for the sake of time, I'm going to ask you to pause on that and hold that thought. Okay? We'll get there. Okay. Now, importantly, you saw last time, because you knew what substitution was, if you saw something like this, you could substitute numbers for that letter and you could try to find out what the letter was. I'm not asking you for questions right now. Do you remember what that method was called? Ms. Northey gave it a name. It starts with a G and a C. It's got a few words in it. Yes? Guess and check. Guess and check, right? So I could try out why, well, maybe Y is 2. Maybe Y is 5. Maybe Y is a half or negative 1. I'm not asking for questions yet. But we saw, we experienced, that was not a very efficient way of doing things, was it? Why not? Why wasn't it very efficient? Yeah, Daniel? You have to guess at all. Yeah, sometimes you have to guess and guess and guess, and it's just tiring. You so instead, and it's right, like once you get an answer, it's like, well, so what? Like I just got it by chance, really. So rather than solving equations by trial and error, guess and check, we're going to use logic, okay? And the key is to remember, if what you have is two things that are equal to each other, 
two things that exactly balance, then if they're the same, you can do things to both sides and it stays balanced. So for example, if you haven't already, would you write down this algebraic equation? And we are going to solve it with logic. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is, remember we said 7 times 4, we knew what that was, right? What is 7 times 28. 4? 28, very good. So I'm going to write that on my next line. And I especially want to emphasize to you that these two lines are in parallel to each other, right? So I've, I've written it down the page, not across the page, because these are kind of like parallel lines of working, okay? Now, remembering that I'm saying this thing and this thing are the same. They are equal, right? If I do something to one side, then I should do it to the other side. So for example, I had some objects on these two sides of the scale. If I took something off one side and I want to keep it balanced, I'd better take it off the other, yeah? So here's what I'm going to do, okay? I want to get towards, I want to find out what this printed rule is, and I don't want to just guess. So I want to subtract something from both sides. That makes that a little easier to see. What could I subtract from both sides? Any suggestions? Yes, Frank. Oh, oh okay. Um, can, I just, can I just say the way, um, the way I did this? Question? Not yet, not yet. I want us to solve it together, and then maybe we'll have time to discuss some other solutions. Can I get a suggestion? You can minus 28 from both sides. I could subtract 28 from both sides. That would be great. In fact, on the next line, let's all write that. Okay? This is what's already there. 28 plus 5y. And there's already a 33. But I've left a space so that if you have another color, this would be lovely if you can put this in a different color, I'm going to subtract 28 from this side, which means I have to subtract 28 from this side. Okay? I'm keeping everything balanced. Otherwise, the thing's going to topple. We subtracted 28, perfect choice by Christian, because why? What, is it, what does it do on the left-hand side? What happens when I've got 28, take away 28? That's just zero. zero. Tell me, that's zero, zero right? No, so all that's left over here is five lots of y. That was the left-hand side, yes? Y basically is one. Okay, so you've already gone a few extra steps. I want to go through slowly. I don't want you guys to jump to the solution. A lot of you guys are jumping to the solution, and I want to see how you got this. On the right-hand side, yeah, I need the working, right? 33 take away 28 It's just fine. Now again, this is a balanced thing, right? Both sides are the same. So I want to do something to both sides that will give me just Y by itself. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Yeah, Rinesh. Okay, now subtraction's a great idea. Subtraction worked last time. It got rid of this 28 business, okay? But unfortunately, subtraction's not going to work for us this time. Why isn't it? What's the operation between 5 and y that's actually implied? Someone tell me, yeah. It's multiplication, so you need to do the opposite, which is division. Very good. So when we write 5y, remember when we learned this abbreviation, it's 5 times y. The reason why subtracting here worked is because you added 28, so I can undo that. Over here, I'm going to divide like this. Can you write that for me? See that? What's happening over here on the left? This is fractions. We've been dealing with this for weeks, right? What happens? You can cancel here, right? Cancel, cancel, leaving you with? Y. Just Y. And on the right hand side, five divided by five? One. Cancel again, one. it's one. And there's our answer, okay? Now that took a bit of time too, but this was much more logical. It was thoughtful. It wasn't just random. It was logical. 